fishing the south branch of the Asabal today, uh, pretty famous river. I think the south south branch is a little less famous. Uh, Asabal does have some waters that are called the holy waters, which are just uh, wonderful to wade and and good fishing. But this is uh, a little more rustic. They've got some. They've got a chapel down here. It's, it's pretty neat. I think you'll like it. Uh, and it's in the Mason Tract, so it's this uh, amazing tract of land that was, you know, given given to us, the people, and uh, that, that's pretty awesome. So, show you that. Hopefully, the fishing's really good. It's a nice overcast day. It's starting to, well, the clouds are all going away. Crap. Anyway, it was a nice overcast day. Uh, fishing's been good for August, from what I've heard, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's good. It's good. I started out throwing a flying ant. Uh, I thought maybe they'd be biting on terrestrials. All of the flies flying around looked way too small for them to be eating and I could tell they weren't. Uh, so then I switched to a slightly larger non-flying ant. And after that didn't work, I switched to a blue, ring, a blue wing olive because I always hear it talked about. That was really the only reason and it was the uh, most generic looking flying insect I had. And that turned out to be the ticket, which allowed me to catch my first fish. <laughs> That's my first brook trout. Get my hand wet. This guy healthy, man. He's tiny, but I'll take him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. Oh, you're slippery. You're a slippery little bugger. There's a deer right down there. Earlier, there was a big heron. That's pretty cool. You know, just, you know, you know, you gotta love fly fishing, even when you don't catch anything, you're seeing deer. That guy, I don't know if you can see him, because it's a GoPro and it doesn't have a zoom, but I did not realize he was there. He is such an authentic stalker and hunter. That's what I need. I need to be stealthy like that. He's just letting me pace with him. Doesn't even care that I'm here. That is so cool. What is that, a blue crane or a blue heron or something like that? I should really learn my my flora and fauna in Michigan, make these, little, make these videos a little more... Uh, educational entertaining when I don't know very well and I can't catch fish anyway. I mean look at this, I am only 20 feet from that guy. That's it, I, I, he doesn't even care. Alright, now he cares. Oh my gosh, wow look at that. That's pretty cool. We'll leave him alone. We gotta pass him, but we'll leave him alone after that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Just because it's so let's get this guy up and out of here as fast as I can. Ah, a little bigger? Upsized a little bit. Oh, is that a little no, it's still a brook. A little brook trout. Hey buddy, I'm sorry I grabbed you by the jaw there. Alright, let's uh that out. All right, look at that little guy right there. All right, we're gonna put him back in the water. Whoop. There you go. And squirmy guys. I'll catch that all day. That's fun. All right, we'll give one more shot. We've had three bites right here. Just don't think they're big enough to eat it. Yeah, they're just not big enough to eat it. Hey, but we found the right fly, man. A blue wing olive. That's what we needed. That was it. Wow, this is just a lovely day. A lovely, lovely Saturday. No one else on the water. You know, Asabel's fishing good. This is awesome. I've been out four times recently. Uh, not for not for trout, for bass, and uh, got skunked I and mean, just catching rock bass and stuff, but. Nothing good, nothing you want to catch. So this is a lot of fun, catching these, you know, getting bites. Even though they're just little trout, little brook trout, which are actually a char, which is in the salmonid family, but it's not a, it's not a true trout. It's, it's in the same family as uh, Arctic char and lake trout, which again, isn't a trout. Anyway, uh, this is just, just awesome. Love being out here. Man, this is the worst. You can see that I'm, I'm way up there, man. It is bad. Oh no. Oh. We got it back. How you guys doing? 
Good. A lot of anglers up that way? Oh, one. Just one? Yeah. Farther or pretty close? He's pretty close, yeah. All right. Is he going up or down? He just walked in, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. All right. Half mile. All right. Thanks, guys. We got trout rising. I saw them right over there. If I sing like I'm in a Disney musical, maybe they'll bite my lure. Sorry, fly. We call it a fly in fly fishing. They don't call it no nasty lure. Oh, it's a little, a little deep in this area. Got to cross over here. Oh, there's a bunch of them, a bunch of them jumping. We got two of them at least. Let's hope they're still taking that blue wing olive. That's close to him. That's close. Oh man, he jumped right under my line. These must be small brook trout. Well, I think that's all there is really in here other than browns, but. Oh, that's right on him. But the line didn't straighten out. Huh, he doesn't seem to like that. Oh yeah, I see him. <laughs> These fish are so. <laughs> These fish are as bad at being fish as I am at being a fly angler. Come on, buddy, bite what I'm putting in front of you. I might have to switch something smaller. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's aggressive. Oh, he, he went for it. He went for my fly. Oh. Right in front of the fly. This is driving me crazy. They don't want this. Whatever. They're feeding. They must be actually feeding on the hatch and not on these. Not looking for the big, bigger stuff. The blue wing olives and everything. All right, I got some smaller stuff. I'll try that. We're gonna need five more casts. And you can line these fish, and they don't even care. All right, that's three. Oh yeah. Man, he went for it. All right, we'll give a couple more casts right there. I want that one. There are so many tiny brook trout everywhere. It is making me crazy. All right. He went for it. All right, we gotta try something smaller. All right, ended up uh, switching to a smaller blue wing olive. But, oh, I gotta straighten this leader out. This is, I tell you, you know, fishing for trout is 90% other stuff. 10% fishing for trout. No wonder guys get so gear crazy. Gotta have new nippers, gotta have this, gotta have that. Anything to make it faster, get back on the water, jeez. I don't know what this hatch is. I, it's some kind of midge or something. I don't know. I can't even say that. The internet will rip me a new one. There's hundreds of them. They look like they got little tiny wings and little tiny bodies. How's that for a description? They're kind of a translucent brown color. I unfortunately don't have anything for that. And I only have 4X tippet. So I do have some smaller stuff, but uh, it, it just doesn't seem like, you know, that not laying out as good. Oh, there's a, there's a fish. All right, let's go aim for him. Oh, yeah. Man, they went for it. Yeah, there we go. I know they're small. I know, guys, but man, they're... As a first-time trout fly fisherman... Oh, and he's gone. Anyway, as a first-time trout fly fisherman, this is just this is awesome. You know, they're easy to catch. They, when, they they bite when they're supposed to. We'll stick with that royal wall. Another fish. This time I'm not gonna get my line tangled like crazy. Let's see if he's still on there. Oh, yeah, little brook. 
Little brook trout. Smallest one of the day so far. On the Royal Wolf. The Royal Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, buddy. I know this probably hurts. So. Yeah, right in the top of the mouth. That's perfect. Holy crap, that was a big dragonfly. It sounded like a helicopter. Look at that little guy right there. All right, back in the water, facing upstream. Come on. Oh, it's going to go right through where he was. Oh, it's a little one, though. Why did they stop jumping? Is he digesting now? You know, I've heard they have patterns. Oh, man. And caught myself. Okay, there we go. We're okay. There's a big brook trout up there. I want it. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, he's gone. Man. All right, we got him. We got a fish, man. We got a fish. That's a good feeling, you know. Here's where the big ones are at. The seven inch brook trout. <laughs> Man. That's, that never gets old. I Someday I'll catch a big trout. It'll be really exciting. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get the hook out of you. Okay, hook's out. That little guy right there, look at that. Look at that beautiful little fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. Okay. And he's gone, all right. Man, all right, I think that spot's fished out, but let's keep moving up the stream. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. We're learning how to fish. This is awesome. I know tiny brook trout are kind of like the blue gill of the trout world. Again, they're not they're not trout, but you know, it's still super fun, man. Super fun. Man, that was a slog to this chapel. Uh, let's check it out, though. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, long long walk. The entire thing's weightable uh, from the stairs, but. Except one piece. One piece is not. So we're gonna head up here. There it is. Pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. There's a plaque in there, and uh, it's very, very neat. And I recommend you you visit it if you ever get the chance. Something like this out in the out in the wilderness. But anyway, uh, George Mason, which is what the Mason Tract uh, is named after, had all this land, and he donated it basically to the people, um, and that's that's really amazing that he did that and then he had this built or somebody did in his honor this amazing chapel here which I can't get in frame but they built it and uh, you know so you can come here and reflect and enjoy nature which is really awesome and I'm a, I'm a big fan of that you know I, I feel like that's missing in today's life now we don't have a lot of people doing stuff like that Wow, this is a slate roof. That's pretty cool. You know, most of the time, 
people in the outdoor industry world, whatever, that use the outdoors for recreation. I mean, they're some of the nicest people I've ever met. But up here in this fly fishing country, they're all jerks, you know? You wave at somebody, you do the little, you know, like that when you're driving, they just stay straight forward. You know? Like, it's all you gotta do, buddy. You just gotta do this, right? All right, I wave at you, and you wave back. That's it, just like that. Like that, that's all you gotta do, all right? And then, you go to these, you go to these fly shops, all right? And, uh, you know, the staff's, the staff's friendly, you know, whatever. And they don't want to talk to me because I'm I'm 20 something, and the, you know there's a guy who's 45 in there asking about $800 rod. I get that, but there's there's guys that are like locals or whatever sitting there tying flies. They don't even acknowledge your existence. You know, you, you ask them, you know, what, what are you tying or whatever, and they're, rrr, rrr, rrr. yeah, <laughs> dude, I, I get it. F fly fishing attracts a uh, a solitary, you know, reserved crowd usually. Okay. It's not like bass fishing, the culture around it's a little different. Totally understand. You know, I, I like to be left alone, I like to fish alone. But you know, when you're in the river, I say hi. I ask how you, how the fishing is, I ask what you're catching them on, you know, I expect you to ask the same. How you doing, you know, why we gotta pass each other in silence? Ugh, it's ridiculous. I passed four people a day. We had not. I was like, hi, you know, you getting them? Mm, mm. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, just a couple brook trout for me. Mmm. What is wrong with you? You know, make make the sport enjoyable. All right, is it really so competitive? Are you so worried that I'm catching so many fish that I'm, I'm going to deplete the stream? And hey, this guy I talked to today. Roll the clip if I got it. If there's no clip, I didn't record it because I don't like to record people who don't know I'm recording. But anyway, talking about he's got he's got to be 80. Anyway, uh, and he's talking about, oh, yeah, there's no fish here anymore. I think it's overfished. You know, I put the camera down because there was a person actually on the road and I saw him and he's pulling over to fish. He's got waders on. And uh, you know what, I, I waved at him. He's, he's bringing up, made eye contact with me. Hey, man, you know? And then he did this. What? <laughs> Where are these people from? What's? Why is it so unpleasant to fly fish? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know, it, it, it's it's just crazy, man. It, it's crazy. I, I don't get it. it. The fly fishing culture needs to change. It, it's ridiculous.